I uh, saw an advert the other day for boxer shorts made out of bamboo. I was like, I don't know much about bamboo, but I don't think that's a material I want in close proximity with my anus. <laughs> One thing I know about bamboo is that it's so strong, in some countries, they use it for scaffolding. <laughs> my old nan used to have a saying, if they use it for scaffolding, then keep it away from your ass. <laughs> The other thing I know about bamboo is uh, during the Vietnam War, the Viet Cong dug these pits in the jungle and they filled them full of bamboo sticks and unwitting American soldiers would be wandering through the jungle, they would fall into the pit and then they would be unable to get out of the pit. And the reason they were unable to get out of the pit wasn't because of the comfort that the bamboo provided. <laughs> I guess they're only using like a small amount of bamboo, but I just worry, you know, they'll put like the work experience kid in charge of the factory or something, <laughs> fuck up the ratios, and then you got like a 100% bamboo boxer shorts. <laughs> you know, I wake up full of pep one morning and pull on my new boxer shorts with a bit too much vigor and just cut myself in half up the middle. <laughs> sort of reverse gooch guillotine. I was, uh, I was taking some washing out to the washing line the other day, and there's a little park near our washing line, and uh, there was a boy in the park, maybe four years old, and he saw me walking past with a basket of washing, and he, he ran away from the playground equipment towards me. And as I walked past him, he went, hello! And I was like, hey, mate, like, how's it going? And then he said, my mum says I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Yeah, I was thinking, you've really fucked me up there, Chief. <laughs> you've started a conversation, now you've left me with nowhere to go. <laughs> Thought I was hanging my washing on the line, turns out I'm in a conversation with the Riddler. Because <laughs> the thing is, once he said to me, my mum says I'm not allowed to talk to strangers, there's nothing I can then say to him that won't sound weird. I can't be like, well, don't worry. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, well, a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. <laughs> oh, your whole mother better learn to shut her goddamn mouth. <laughs> like, whatever I say is inappropriate, you know? <laughs> but I gotta say something. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just staring at a child. <laughs> Think what I said, I'll regret for the rest of my life. <laughs> Hadn't done a gig for a while, you know, he put me on the spot. I was like, don't worry, I'm not allowed to talk to children. <laughs> then I put the basket of washing down and fled the area. I haven't been home since. <laughs> Seriously, can someone put me up for the night? <laughs> I've been Lloyd Langford. Thank you for listening to me. Good night. Cheers. <laughs>